You're on top? Yours is yours. Yours is on top, but also yours is full up. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, we're on a hike in the North Island, which it's been a long time since we've hiked in the North Island. And we're just doing a little overnight trip to Leech's Hut. Um, it's about four hours, nice easy track. I've done it a couple of times, Angie's done it once before as well. Um, so we thought it would be a good option to just get us back into the whole bikey vi hiking vibe. Um, yeah, should be good fun. Gonna camp, eat lots of treats, and hopefully have a good time. It's about the journey, not the destination. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, what just happened? You know what just happened. Did you just uh, step in this I bog? I think you Why did. <laughs> Time for a break. Uh, so, we've been going for about an hour and a half. Um, haven't gone too far, we're taking it easy. So we've only done about three kilometers. But um, we're gonna have a little sit down, a little rest, which is well deserved. I am using, of course, my new pack. Angie got me for my birthday. It's doing great. Pretty comfortable. I've, uh, even though it's just an overnight, I've got it fully loaded up. Well, probably past its rated weight, I would say. Um, I just partly wanted to test how it would perform, but partly just bringing stuff to be comfy. So, including my new stool. We've got a bit of new gear to try out. It's not quite the old uh, camping chair, but it's um, a lot lighter than a camping chair. And I actually, um, you can get these um, stalls for like camping and stuff that are like this. And I've always really liked them. I've found them really comfortable. So thought I'd give this a try. Um, but yeah, the pack's doing great. Um, considering the amount of weight I'm carrying, it's pretty comfortable. So no complaints there. We don't really have clip bars in New Zealand, but you can get them. I want to sit on the ground inside. Shall I tilt the camera down so we can see each other? Do you want my map? What do you mean see each other? I can see you no, fine. <laughs> our lovely audience need to see us. Yeah, cliff bars. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable because I'm on a crazy slope. I'm so worried about falling over. But there is a, there's a few stores in New Zealand that do sell them. Outdoor stores. Um, we know they're all the rage in America, so... We are just trying, we bought two for this walk and we're just sharing. This is a chocolate chip. Kind of... It's quite um, golden syrupy, eh? Like uh. a, to me it's like an Anzac biscuit with chocolate chips. Alright, that's the break over. We'll uh, carry on. About four hours total to the hut. 
nice easy walk the whole way. Ah, uh, so we have come out onto the clearing. Um, so we come out of the bush, up there, up that way, and um, we're now out at the clearing, and we're going to follow this. The river's just through here, and we're um, we go down this way to the hut. Not far to go now. Um, beautiful sunny day, and it's been really nice. Um, the pack's been good. Pack's been really good. Um, it's interesting the differences from my pack. Um, it's a quite different shape. Um, yeah, I'm liking it though so far, more or less. Um, yeah, not. I haven't been doing a lot of video, and um, we'll talk about that more because um, obviously it's been a very long time since I've done a video, and uh, I wanted to have a chat about that. Called me June Boy. My shoulders are really sore. Welcome to Leech's Clearing. Um, so that's the hut behind us. Um, doesn't look like there's anyone there, but we don't want to stay in the hut. We prefer the tent, so we'll be staying in our tent. Uh, so we might pitch up here. This looks like a decent spot. And um, yeah, then we will uh, might make a coffee and we'll have some snacks because well worth it after that trip. Alright, well we'll uh, get back to you once the tent's set up. So we made it to the hut and we set up our tent. A lovely little spot. It's a beautiful day. So we're going to enjoy the sunlight because um, it's going to rain tomorrow. So we're just going to pop over and have a little look-see in the hut. Cool little hut. Um, Angie's just filling out the hut book, recording our intentions in case we disappear, go missing. So, search and rescue can check the book, find out where we are. Um, this is my third time here, and I've never slept in the hut. I've always camped. <laughs> There's um, heaps of space. It's got one of the best kind of camping areas at a hut probably I've ever seen um, and I'm not really a fan of sleeping in dock huts if I can avoid it the mattresses are unpleasant and um, big bench mattress sort of bunk thing so you're sleeping right next to a complete stranger potentially although there's no one here and it is oh it's only 20 to 4 I could just make my coffee in this. Drink it out of the giant mug. Oh, you're filming. No wonder you're acting weird. We've 
got a new cook system. We always used to use one cooker in a big pot, but instead we've got these little tokes cups. So I've got a I've got a 750 and a 500 or 600 mil or something. Um, and they're just big enough to fit a little canister and then we've got a small cooker each. So I've got the cooker we already had and then we've got the, um, the classic, the BRS 3000 cooker. Um, so we bought one of those as well which Angie's using there. Um, so we can do two lots of drink at the same time. Uh, it means for like day hikes and things like that we could just take one as a little package and if I'm going solo I can just take one um, rather than the big pot which is really awkward to pack. Um, but yeah just it's going to be interesting to see how this cooker does because um, the fire maple one I've got absolutely cranks it boils a litre of water in like no time but this one's not quite so grunty by the looks of it. It's looking good. I mean, the water's filtered, so it's starting to boil, so that's probably enough, right? Something just majorly cracked. Engine, and I need to come up with like some sort of filming code. Caca! <laughs> yeah, especially when you start doing that and you suddenly go, Angie and I need to blah blah blah, and I'm like, who the fuck are you talking <laughs> We just, I don't know if this will work. No, it's not going to work, is it? This is why I need a G9 Mark II. Hopeless. What um, need a, 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 a G9? G9 Mark II for autofocus, because this is garbage. Oh, that worked. See, it worked that time. And it didn't work the last time. Try again. I'm going to try one more time. You guys are going to hate this. No, nah, this time it's not working. I don't know what the trick is. <clears throat> it's trying to focus on like down there. It's recognized that as a person. <laughs> anyway, Jesus. This is top notch content for YouTube. Uh, we just tried our second cliff bar. Which was chocolate brownie. Dunno, we're undecided. So we have OSM bars um, which they're not like muesli or snack bars, they're an actual meal replacement so two bars is a meal um, but the same company makes these and you won't be able to see them because of the shitty autofocus. Um, these are called bumper bars and they're kind of dense muesli type bars with like chocolate and strawberry and caramel and stuff and they're delicious so on TA we used had OSM bars and these um, I think I prefer these to cliff bars so um, yeah we've had hot drinks and um, we've set up our beds Angie's just having a nap we have a wee taste of some bourbon this is I think there's Woodford Double Oak in here, in this little uh, flask which Angie got me for her birthday, I think, or Christmas. Mm. So, yeah, one of the things I mentioned earlier is it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, something really weird happened when I had to get off Te Araroa. Um, so I was injured, as you will know if you've watched those videos, and um, for quite a while, it took took a good six to eight weeks before I could really walk properly. Um, but I kind of got caught up in work, and then I'm not really sure what happened, but basically I've, I've barely hiked. I've done a few day hikes. Um, I've done one... One proper overnight, like tenting backcountry style overnight hike, and we did the Queen Charlotte track. And that's all we've done. Um, so it's been two years, and in that two years I've done six nights of hiking. And they're a bunch of day hikes. 
and I don't really know why. Um, and I think the YouTube videos may have contributed. So I've done a number of trips where I've shot video. So the Queen Charlotte track, I shot video the whole time. Um, the other overnight we did, I shot video. And I've done a bunch of day hikes where I've shot video. And as you know, I haven't released any videos. I've done one video since I got off Te Arara. Um, and I think that's been part of it, is that I feel an obligation that if I do go for a hike because it's been so long, I need to shoot a video. And then I need to edit it and put it up. And it kind of kills my desire to just go hike, um, in a way, because I feel too much pressure to create a video. Um, so for this one, I mean, I'm obviously shooting a video, but I aren't really giving myself any pressure and I haven't shot much. Um, we're just trying to enjoy the trip more than produce a video. I'm not worrying about photography. Um, just to kind of reconnect with, you know, getting out in the outdoors and enjoying it. Um, but hopefully you're watching this because I have actually produced a video from it and hopefully this gives me the impetus to kind of keep going. I think I've built up an idea in my head that it's really difficult and it's a lot of work and it needs to be really amazing and I just need to whack something together and put it out so hopefully this does that. Yeah anyway so that's kind of the situation but so we're camped out in a familiar spot with the old Big Agnes. We haven't been in it for a while. Um, luxurious. It's great. Um, the two cookers worked really well. I was really pleased with that and I love my new pack. Um, I'll talk maybe in more detail, do a review at some point once I've used it a bit more but yeah I really like it. Um, yeah, so we're just hanging out, eating snacks, and um, we'll have dinner soon because it'll get dark not too far off. Got a bunch of dehy meals. So dinner is going to be a good one. It's the Real Mills Sri Lankan chicken curry. You see that? I don't know if you can. I can't even tell if it's in focus. Um, I had this on quite a bit on TA and we have boxes of Dehi meals. This is one of my favourites. Um, I just got some instant rice to go with it. Don't know if that was in focus either. Um, so rice, and then this, which I've been meaning to try for the longest time, and I've never tried it, which I'm a bit embarrassed by. Again, it's not, there we go. Um, which is chocolate pudding, basically. It kind of looks like, it's like a chocolate self sourcing pudding which happens to be my favorite dessert in the universe so I'm hoping this is similar so I got all this um, which is 7,500 kilojoules for, for one person for a meal I don't know what that is in calories but I know that's got to be like a day's food that's like a day's calories in one meal. The key with um, rehydrating these meals is to really get into the corners. That I find that the um, right down in the corners of the packet is where you end up with stuff that didn't get any water, and it just ends up with this crunchy powder in your meal. Um, luckily these real meals are quite good design packets, like they're kind of curved at the bottom so they don't really have a corner. I don't even know if you can see me anymore, it's so dark. Um, and then the other thing is I always leave them way longer than the time, so these meals they say 10 minutes. 
I typically leave them for like 15, 20 minutes. I find that makes a massive difference. Um, oh God, it smells so good. Good morning, everyone. Um, who, pretty good night's sleep. Um, I'm up, I've had, had a first coffee. Um, Angie's still asleep down there. <laughs> She's snug. Um, it's quite cloudy today. There wasn't really much of a sunrise. I did get up and take a few photos just of the tent and stuff, but there wasn't really much to look at. Um, it's not raining though. It was meant to be raining all morning. Um, but so far, touch wood, no rain. So if we're lucky, we might even get packed away and stuff before any rain arrives. Um, yeah, my sleeping mat keeps leaking, so I'm going to have to look. There must be a leak somewhere in it. Um, I had to keep re-inflating it every 10, 15 minutes or so, or whenever I woke up. But um, otherwise, it was a pretty good sleep. Um, my back's not sore at all. I was a bit worried about it tightening up um, again while I was in the tent, but no, it's been fine. So yeah, I'm just waiting until Angie decides to get up and then we'll have breakfast and start packing things away. Uh, so we're up and about and um, yeah, it's a pretty overcast grey day. The forecast for the nearest town, which is Tikawiti, was for rain all morning. Um, it hasn't rained here yet, but that doesn't mean it won't. Um, so I think we'll probably pack down the tent and then uh, relocate to the hut, uh, the huts. Um, as you saw, it's real close, and then we might cook breakfast in there. Just it'll, it'll kind of suck to get up. The the tent is bone dry. There's no condensation in it whatsoever, and the fly is really dry. So it would be a real shame to um have got through the whole night and then uh, get rained on while we're cooking breakfast and have to carry out a wet tent so I think that's what we'll do so a little experiment for breakfast um, normally for breakfast I'd just have maybe like OSM bars something like that um, but I'm trying something different so I've got real meals eggs, cheese and chives um, in hollandaise sauce and then I've got bacon mashed potato and I'm going to mix these together on wraps with a bit of barbecue sauce and make like breakfast wraps we'll see if it works I think this is way too much food for one person I was hoping we would both have this but Angie wanted porridge so well, so here's my wrap with the uh, mashed potato and egg on it, and I'll just add a bit of barbecue sauce. It doesn't look that appealing, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try to wrap this up in such a way. Oh my god, it's so slimy. Ooh. So it's a little breakfast burrito. I reckon it'd be better if you, I don't know, cooked it like this and then maybe toasted it. Because the wrap's cold, so. It's pretty good actually. Alright, we're all packed up. We've uh, taken the obligatory hut photograph that we always take. And um, yeah, we've got a four hour or so hike ahead of us to head out. And uh, yeah, we'll just, I might um, shoot a little bit of video on the way out, but um, basically that's it. Um, we want to get moving before the rain kind of starts to come in too much so we don't get too wet. We'll see you on the next video, I guess. Hopefully there'll be another one. So yeah, thanks for watching along and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.